Uh, greetings family, uh, this is uh, Bomani Tamba and um, just want to share some uh, wonderful information about uh, my experience traveling on the African continent since uh, 2004 to now um, 2020 coming up. Uh, so looking at uh, literally uh, 15, 16 straight years of journey on the continent, I've been to uh, nine different countries and um, been, been able to put things in perspective as far as repatriation. So I've been to uh, Senegal, the Gambia, uh, Ghana, Togo, Benin, um, in uh, West Africa. I've been to uh, South Africa, uh, Ethiopia, uh, Egypt, and I'm trying to remember the other uh, uh, one country. Uh, so, um, and then uh, looking to head to Tanzania. So, um, over the last uh, few months, there's been a uh, lot of uncertainties about traveling to Africa and going to Africa. And I don't know if it's like a big distraction. Right when we finally just have uh, the boom of energy, where we just have more and more people interested in Africa, uh, you have this COVID-19 drama. So people have asked me a lot about my opinion on it, and I tell them I don't care what these devils are going to put forward. There's nothing stopping us from making our move to Africa. So uh, right now we're looking to uh, continue our journey back to the African continent. So we have uh, tours to Tanzania, uh, November 20th to the 30th, uh, Ghana, December 24th to January 5th. And these are roots and culture journey uh, that we have set up to just give any of us who are interested to connect into Africa um, and just want to know more. And it's just a, a good way to get into where you have a full schedule that hits certain points and then you have a whole lot of networking. And beyond this, us going and connecting, uh, we're looking to also you know, connect the business, introduce more people to people we have on the ground. And uh, ultimately, um, right there in Ghana, build a foundation where we put our money together and build our own true black power community where we actually you know, organize everything that we need, uh, work together and actually build a community where we can reach out to those from the diaspora and also let's make a better impact uh, there in Africa. Uh, once you're there on the continent, uh, it's one of those things where uh, you, know, you really have to just organize the energy when we're, we're moving there. I see a lot of people move uh, individually or just go there, try to wing it and just come back from the different countries just heartbroken. But I really feel like if we do more of these organized moves and not telling everybody that they have to come on these uh, tours, some people may look at the price and say that that's not going to work for them. But what I tell people, come on a journey, spend an extra few days in the country. Uh, one of my sisters here says she spent a whole month in uh, East Africa, uh, four different countries. Those are definitely ideal and that's always what you want to encourage, especially if you can uh, even travel with us and then spend a few more weeks or months on the continent and then for those who just want to do the, the hardcore ground journey that's a good way to get out and then you have other people just like yourself because it's all about this uh, networking so uh, just wanted to reach out to people and share more information as a point of contact for anyone ever wanting to talk to somebody about traveling to Africa doing business moving and it's not a situation where you know where you know you see nowadays everybody want you to like, subscribe, want you to pay them a donation and pay them consultation. I'm one of those people that believe in this free information I was talking about today um, and, and everything just so we can just get into conversations and dialogues because some of us that are also having conversations can also do business together uh, and, you know, and things like that. So it's also a foundation of how we can consolidate our energy on African continent and really be an uh, economic force to, you know, to make things uh, solid uh, versus just getting there trying to figure certain things out so that's more of what we've been pushing uh, for those who are interested in Africa I have an organization and plan uh, and networking uh, working on business plans because you're also looking at an enterprise and opportunities where you have a lot of different uh, Chinese Indians if we don't take advantage of these opportunities they're gonna be there setting up the tourism companies, setting up the manufacturing and setting certain things up so it goes beyond just a, a journey to Africa. We try to make it as many as impactful as possible and share with the rest of our brothers and sisters to let them know that uh, it's our time to where we need to invest in our black homeland and make Africa that integral part of our future to where we know we have a solid foundation and we can just kind of just do certain uh, things around in different parts of the world. But uh, you know, I, I use uh, the energy from Marcus Garvey as far as uh, you know, when we look at the Chinese people, they are people of dominance, they are people all over the world and you know, in the same way they are out there just uh, competing and dominating, that's how we as a people have to be. So, 
uh, you know, Trump got his magna hat, and you know, we you know we're gonna push that, and make Africa great again, because uh, we're talking about the greatest content that birthed civilization across the world. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's them stealing our, our our energy and our words. But that's what I believe in. Now uh, we can make Africa the greatest uh, entity on this planet as a people, and you know, and it's one of those situations where I don't believe in people telling you that. With five, six, seven lifetimes from now, you know, you want your happiness and your your paradise, uh, dear, in Africa. So, I started out when I was, you know, in my mid twenties, traveling to the continent, and you know, gave up uh, uh, these careers and put more time into doing this, uh, just so I can, you know, reach out to other people, with saying, hey, we have done this. Uh, let's connect our energy together and make it work. So, um, all the work I've done over the years dealing with uh, tourism and connecting us to Africa, I've showcased on our website, Africa for the Africans. Uh, dot org and then lots of videos on YouTube uh, photos on Facebook to showing the you know showing that um, the journey and this going from not learning not not, learn, not knowing about your African roots and culture because there's only so much uh, these folks are going to teach you uh, in school and just going out there and doing the research and then just trying to bring along as much of my brothers and sisters as possible and saying that hey you know we're going to do this and figure it out so this is just uh, what I have to share with you, uh, family, and it's just lots of free information and videos and pictures and details, and also a lot of documentation about our future community, uh, we call Black Star Pan African Community. Uh, so that's uh, what I want to share, and then if anyone have any just direct questions or so, I can always get you one of these uh, cards, and we can always talk in detail and, and in full dialogue when you have more of the time. But if you have direct questions, then it's, it's, it's fine. I can answer some of the direct questions. Well, this is not a direct question, but I just wanted to drop this note for further information. In addition to what you're doing, I don't know how many have heard of the Dr. Mumbi show. Yeah. <coughs> and, um, and also the Dr. Mumbi. Dr. Dr. Mumbi show. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lamumba as well. Uh, Brother Lamumba. Professor Lamumba. Yeah, yeah, so these are just information and, and hear what's going on in the continent to further uh, support what the brother's speaking about. Yes, exactly. And we have a lot of uh, prominent energy in the continent and it's, it's about time we get oh, together as a people I mean, and uh, so we have dynamic minds on a complete globe. So that's why also one of my things is we as a people have to be more open to the rest of us around the world and mm -hmm. Dis disregard whatever any white devil have told us about the rest of our folks. Okay. Uh, it's, it's up to us to dialogue, come together and figure it out. Anyone else? Well, mine is more of a compliment to Bomani. Appreciate so, the system. Prior to meeting him, I went on his May 2018 tour and it changed my life. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, like, the seed of Africa had been planted in me and I had a curiosity and there was a calling. And I think I put you off about a year, almost two years. Because <laughs> I was, it was just hard to so-called unplug from battle. I was like, oh, two weeks. I know it. So by the time I was just broken and my homegirl was like, sis, pay off the trip. Paid it off. That was the freest feeling. And I swear, those two and a half weeks, two weeks we were there, yo, changed my life. So I just want to give a testament to the awesomeness of his tours. And I have not been the same since. And went back again and again and again. That's why she's after that. Yeah, so I mean, we're on some, on some nation building. You know, as well. So it's a lot of us that are that are going there that are on a collective to create, you know, communities and opportunities. You did say you were moving there now, yeah, right? Out. <laughs> She's out. She's well, down. Mom and them and daughter they come in in the spring, okay. but I have their blessing. You know, so I'm going to build my home, get the house in order, and I'm um, extending my real estate business there. So I'm in a position where I don't have to be here. So I do real estate and taxes. So I'm self. I don't have to be here. All I need is Wi-Fi. There you go. There you go. But but my niece tours you know, I, to this day, brother. I appreciate you, man. I absolutely that was like appreciate the best you. Two weeks and yeah, totally uh, elevated me. Man. Well, I want yeah. I want to respond to that because. <laughs> I'm scheduled to go with Bamanti, Africa for the Africans to Tanzania, yes. November the 20th through the 30th. However, I've been I had my bags packed since April. <laughs> <laughs> them folks been canceling the yeah, trips. They won't let us leave. <laughs> Every time I turn around, you can't get in the country. They don't want the you know they don't want the folks in. Then you can come in. You can't come. Now you got to take a test. You can't. I don't know. But I'm ready to go. Yeah, so, we're, we're gonna make it happen, Tanzania. 
Tanzania. Yeah. And anybody so want to come up? We have we have more space. In Tanzania, come on. I'll meet I'll you there. there. <laughs> I, would, I would like some information about this Ghana trip. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Shush. <laughs> Shush. I'm recruiting for uh, Ready to go. on Gambia for April yeah. 2021. Yeah, so we've got uh, another set of wonderful absolutely. schedule for 2021. So hopefully these devils don't unleash nothing on us. And uh, we've got a whole all star year. We'll just keep it positive. Yeah. yeah. So yes, family, the journey continues, family. We'll see you in the motherland. Yeah. <laughs>